Hey, bye, 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 bye. hey. Welcome, Welcome to Kukua Fitness. It's Cooks and Cree. All right. Well, you know what? A lot of you have been asking us about how do you guys tie your hair and still work out and still go out? <laughs> come on, come on. We're here to show you how to tie our headgear that you see us anytime we're working out. No, we always we wear tie our hair ties. Our, we love <laughs> our hair tie. So we want to share that with you. And today we're going to show you two ways of doing it. When you do work out with it, you can also go out with it. So we're going to show you. You ready? Let's do it. All right. So the second style. So this is a kente cloth from Ghana. The kente is royalty. The kente has all these bright colors that have meaning, the green, the red, the black, and all of that. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Yes, we love the kente. People get married in the kente cloud. People get all sorts of ceremonies in the kente cloud. And we are proud to bring the kente to share with you, to show you how to tie your hair. Now let me tell you something about that third piece. In Ghana, and mainly in um, the West African countries, we wear the, the, the cloth with a blouse on top of it, and then there is always a third piece. And the third piece is the one that you use either, if you have a little child to put on the back, put the little child and carry the child on your back, or the third piece you could also tie on your hair. The last thing you can do with the third piece is put it over the actual entire cloth and use it almost like a carry because you can tie your money on it like that, tuck it in, or tie something very special that you have in your hand. You do not want to lose it, tie it in here, and then tie it across. So I'm going to show you. You could actually put it over your entire outfit, which is the slit and the kaba, we call it the slit, which is the skirt, the kaba, which is the top, and the third piece can go right over it. And I tell you, if you don't want to tack it in like this and you want to put your little money here, tie your little money and tie it like a knot and let it just tack it in nicely. So cute, nobody even know you have your money in there. Yeah? Okay, the other thing when it back home is when your hair is messy or when you're doing some chores and you don't want your hair in there, uh, you could use this to tie your hair and put that hair out of sight, okay? So it's also fashionable. You can tie it to work out like you see us doing and you can also tie it to go out and make it look like your style. You got it. All right, my final piece I'm going to show you is just like this. Open it all up, put it right over your head, you bring it and just fold the front. You tie it, make sure you've covered your whole head. Take it behind you and cross it. Cross it and make sure it's neat behind you. You bring it to the front, turn around, bring it to the front, tack it in nicely. We're going to tie it in the front. This is number one tie. We tie it again. This is number two tie. We tie it again. This is number three tie. So it looks like that. Then what you're gonna do is fold it to the back and take this all the way in so that you can tack the rest of it into the rest of your head scarf. Just like that. There we go, and then, looks just like that, look at it. Look at the back, neat, all neat, nicely tacked in. And in front, looking like this, ta-da! You got it, all right. And you're ready to either work out or go out. Okay, for your second head wrap, for working out or going out. This is actually my favorite one. I wear it a lot. And as Kukua said, kente represents royalty. So when you wrap it, you feel like a queen. And that's what I want you to feel like is a queen. So I have my wrap. Again, it's a big wrap and big and long. And I like to wear my bonnet because I like to protect my curls. And also it helps form the shape that I'm going for 
with the wrap. Okay, so first we're gonna put on our bonnet. Gotta flip the hair. So here we go, let's flip it. Then bring it all, try to bring it together. Put your bonnet on. Put all the curls in. All right, so take your head wrap. Open it up nice and wide, all the way open. You're gonna put it on the back of your head. Like right at the end of your neck, like this, okay? Then what you're gonna do is pull it again like we did before. We're gonna pull it like this and then we're gonna twirl it. I want you to twirl it almost to the end for this one, okay? And then you are going to wrap it around that big puff on your head. You're gonna wrap it around, keep wrapping, keep twirling. Twirl, baby, twirl, there we go. All right, you're gonna tuck it. You're gonna tuck that with it since it wanna go. And you'll realize every time you wrap your hair, you may look a little different. You might wrap it a little different. But in the end, you are gonna feel like a queen. Yes! <laughs> so there you have it. You have two ways of wrapping your hair. Short hair or long hair. That's right. And you know what it is. That way you can't say, I don't know what to do yes. any given time. It could be a bad hair day. It could be a good hair day. It could be just because you want to look like a queen. That's right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell if you're not already following us. Is life. See you soon.